Greetings, Internet. My name is Chris, and I'm back once more with another vet dungeon for you. This time we're doing Spindle Clutch. Uh, if you haven't watched this before, it's a small series I'm doing on how to complete the veteran dungeons in the Elder Scrolls Online. First off, I start off um, rushing ahead. I use my DPS build here, or my, yeah, I guess it's my damage build you would call it. Um, if you're lower level, I recommend uh, taunting all the heavy guys, like that one that just charged. I think they're called Brutes, maybe. But yeah, you wanna you wanna taunt those if you're the tank. Uh, right. Um, but yeah, you can see we're just rushing ahead. Uh, once again, I'm going with my speedrun group here. So you'll see a lot of horrible tanking, and you'll see a lot of uh, disregarding for basic. Um, tactics. I'll explain them anyway. Um, in this video we also do the uh, hard mode. Okay, so Mad Mortimer. As a tank this guy is pretty easy. Uh, you want your DPS is uh, either stunning or uh, doing something about the uh, ads. But as a tank you just want to get the attention of Mortimer or Mortine. I don't know why I call him Mortimer. Mad Mortine, that's his name. Basically all he does is some kind of rapid strikes and a heavy attack. If you have a shield, this is easy to block. Right. That's an easy guy, but you can have trouble with it if you don't stun the group. You can use plenty of different um, ultimates for this. Uh, for example, I could use uh, I could use Negate from the Dark Magic tree. I could use Storm Atronach from the what's it called from the uh, Summoning tree. So yeah, I mean, endless possibilities. Templars have a stun as well. Um, Nightblades have some kind of AoE they can drop down to. So yeah, pretty easy. Now this guy here, he's a DPS check. He's a tough one. Bloodspawn, yeah. Um, if you're in a lower level group, this one will be quite tough, I promise you. Now, a DPS check means that if you don't have the required DPS, you're gonna get your face kicked in. Now I recommend for doing this is uh, grouping up just behind the boss. He's gonna do a uh, ground pound, but hopefully your healer can heal through it. This is where uh, AoE heals are king. You can see I keep losing taunt because I'm uh, I'm focusing more on doing damage to him. But yeah, um, if you don't stand inside the red after I think two minutes fighting him or is it one minute I don't remember how long how long you have to actually defeat him but after a certain while he'll go into rampage and if you're not in within the um, red circle of the uh, ground pound AoE you're gonna get one shot by the uh, stones that drop down from ceiling in the back you can see just stones falling down if you stand inside those uh, red circles and get hit by a stone it's uh, basically an insta kill but yeah here we um, we're quite fast at killing him, you can see. I'm taking way too much damage as a tank because I'm using my two-hander. But as, as I said, we're doing this as a speed run, so we're trying to get get the kill as quickly as possible. Moving on. Uh, this up here, I recommend tanking the uh, Flash Atronach by itself. Because those can get pretty nasty. Um, but I'm a greedy tank, so I pull the other group right behind him. It's pretty simple though, if if you have the DPS for it, if you have the stuns for it, it's not too bad. As a tank, in this dungeon here, you really want to focus on the ones with the shields. Because they'll do a charge, and most of the time either one-shots your group members if they get hit, or knocks them down and get them killed by something else. Coming up is the third boss. This guy has been bugged for the longest time, but they fixed him in one of the previous patches. Uh, basically, it starts off with uh, three waves. Uh, first wave will be a ton of spiders. I actually get killed on this wave here uh, because I think my my uh, healer might have been a little um, unprepared for this. Uh, second wave will be a big boss and uh, some more spiders. You can see I get killed right here. For some reason, I think my abilities. Abilities might not have worked. 
I don't know. I'm not really sure why it happened. But anyway, um, this is a really tough fight, even in uh, higher levels. So you can see that's the second wave, the big spider, smaller spiders. I get rest here in a moment. When one of them goes back and rests me. Um, the third wave, you want to save your ultimates for that, similar to um, Keeper Emeril in Banished Cells, because that will be a tough wave. Now these waves won't um, be reoccurring, so once you've defeated three waves, uh, they won't happen again. Basically, the third wave contains four different bosses. As a tank, you wanna you wanna aggro these bosses. Keep in mind that Big Rabu is is probably the worst. You saw right there, uh, he did a charge. That one one shots most everyone. Of course, the group I'm running with all have really nice gear, so we have health enough to survive these things. As a DPS here, you wanna you wanna make sure you kill the healers. Now you can see the boss actually already switched into his ghost form. This uh, means he starts creating circles and uh, AoE. The circle, as you saw, just killed one of my team members. It will spawn on a ram random uh, group member and um, you'll have to stay inside the circle. If you hit the walls of the circle, you'll get killed. Now, um, it spawned on my other DPS friend, but it was uh, the melee DPS who got killed by it. So it disappears after one person gets killed by it, or uh, after you've been inside it for a short while. It'll actually happen again, you'll see he runs straight into the wall. Right here, I think. Oh, it just stands still, that's it. Yeah. But yeah, you can see, even with these people here, they, uh, they don't really know the tactic of it. I think the only one who knows is uh, Arya. But um, yeah. It's a really tough fight um, because of that circle, and it can be really tough if it spawns um, like when you're standing right on top of each other. Because yeah, and then it gets tough. You see here it spawns again. Uh, guy dies once more, running into uh, the sides of it, and it's one of those things. I think it does uh, 8,000 damage, so there's no way you can actually uh, survive that. We kill it nonetheless. I mean. The DPSs are not kidding, like, <laughs> really good. Uh, I also went DPS on that one because, I don't know, yeah, we wanted to kill him as quick as possible. You could, as a tank, tank him. Uh, I recommend doing that, actually, because he does, like, this forward-facing AoE attack. I would run around him and stand on the upper side, opposite side of him. Opposite side of my group, I mean. Here you can see, I mean, I'm not really doing a great job as a tank right here, since uh, I'm focusing more on doing damage. You don't want to do this um, unless you have a capable healer and some capable DPSs with you. Here I switch to my uh, <laughs> tanking for once. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple stuff, but I mean, some of it can take you by surprise if you're not prepared for it. Okay, we're coming up to the fourth boss, or should I say bosses. These are the three Flesh Atronachs. Um, as a tank, I taunt all of them, and I try to keep them away from my group. Um, my friend here just dropped down uh, the Dragon Knight um, flag, so I try to keep them inside of that to maximize damage to them. Uh, you want to taunt these away from your group, because uh, they do a forward-facing cone attack. After you kill one, uh, the two others get stronger, and when you kill one more, the last one gets even stronger. It's a little bit of a strange fight. It's not that difficult if you have a capable healer, um, since there's not really any uh, AoE damage from the bosses. You will see me using uh, my negate coming up here, since I run into that big group behind the Flesh Atronite. This is um, one of the tactics you want to be using for this place, just because there's so many uh, enemies in each um, in each aggro you'll do, or each uh, pull. You can see I just uh, taunted the guy with uh, with the shield. 
again, this this guy is like the uh, like the clan fears from Banish Cells. If you stand in front of him as he charge, you can uh, stop him um, if you have a shield as a tank. And once again, if you don't have a shield as a tank, uh, get a shield. <laughs> it makes the world of a difference. Right, um, right here, there was a flag drop down. This is uh, an enemy flag. If you stand inside of those, you wanna you wanna um, get out because they do damage over time. It's so another for less astronaut here. I mean, they're pretty simple. These guys, you wanna block their heavy attack. You wanna avoid their forward facing cone attack. Basic stuff. Okay, coming up here is another tough group. Uh, I don't have my negate. I just checked there, uh, as you might have seen. So basically, you wanna you want to ta taunt as many as many of these as you can as a tank, um, but most most importantly the uh, the casters like this one here, the illusionists and the uh, nightblade like things, as well as the uh, brutes or whatever they're called, the ones with the shields. So now the flesh astronaut here before the fifth boss. <laughs> Basic stuff, as you can see. Right, the fifth boss here is <laughs> Urban Veleth. Urban Veleth, one of those crazy names. Uh, I'm a little bit stupid here because I I accidentally forget about the <laughs> the boss. But as a tank, you want to aggro both the boss and the two warriors. There'll be uh, four ads next to him. As a DPS, you want to nuke those uh, ads. You can see here he pops into some sort of uh, mist form. Um, there's nothing much you can do, you could outrun it if you wanted to, but if your healer is prepared for it, he can heal you uh, through it. He will also drop down a flag, this guy here, uh, which you want to get out of, since it does a lot of damage. Alright, now to the final boss. We will actually be doing hard mode on this one here, um, because we have the DPS for it. Basically, this boss here will do a small ability where he uh, uh, siphons uh, life from the people on the crosses there. So this guy is Warren of Winterborn. I start off by taunting him. Um, this guy you want to watch out for the AoE he drops down. He does uh, nasty damage. And you also want to um, watch out for when he strikes. He'll do a strike where he cuts in between uh, each member of the group. You can't block this um, from what I know and you can't dodge it either. You can see there my DPS friend just went over to try and kill the guy on the cross. In the chat I told him no <laughs> because we're doing the hard mode achievement. Oh yeah, he also siphoned uh, uh, life from a team member. You can see there that's the AoE. It's pretty nasty, especially against uh, lower groups. Also, if you're running with a lower level group, uh, as the appropriate vet 4, or vet 5, whatever, vet 3 maybe, uh, I really recommend you uh, kill the guys on crosses, because unless you have the DPS to to uh, hit him through through his uh, life sum uh, siphoning here, it's, uh, it's a very tough fight. This guy is also the master of horrible timing, because that that uh, charge he does. I've seen him multiple times hitting someone who's inside the AoE which will basically kill you since you take so much damage from the AoE. Anyway, I hope you liked this video here. I hope it was informative. A little bit rushed maybe. Uh, but yeah, look forward to my next video on Funko Grotto. Thanks for watching.